<laughs> okay, here we have Wayne Desborough, and he's the co-founder. And I love this quote that he has. He says, we want our children to be safe and happy, and we know how to do it. We are not waiting. That was our clarion call. We can, we should, we will. When our son was 12 months old, we had, we were foster parents of him, and he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And so we went through this whole process that James was talking about. The bizarre part in our life, adding to that, was the foster care agency thought we would give him back like a toaster that didn't work. So we had this little guy, and he was 18 pounds, and that Thanksgiving, the turkey was 21 pounds. So what they said is they said, give him this much insulin, that much is too much, this much is too little. And I was looking at that and I was thinking, this is just horrific. So when my wife is perpetually doing research, she's been a member of the Diabetes Online community far longer than myself. In fact, prior to Night Scout, I only know, knew one other dad who had done any hacking and we had been using the CGM from Dexcom, the 7, and hooked it up to an RF switch with a baby monitor camera, and we could get beyond 15 feet from our child and keep an eye on his blood glucose because he could drop 65 points in five minutes in between a reading. So type 1 diabetes was just one of the issues he had coming into the world being tox positive for meth, being tox uh, positive for fetal alcohol syndrome, having damaged and missing chromosomes. So he has a laundry list. So I refer to him as brittle because his endo did, but a lot of people don't believe that that's a true diagnosis. But for him, it's just very difficult to manage. So we had this little setup where we flip a switch and it would power the outlet and the Dexcom 7 would come on and we could see his blood glucose. And that allowed us to sit on the couch and watch a movie together. So when my wife came across in early May this group, and she said, you have to see this. So I started asking her these questions. She said, I'm just going to dump you in this group. So I got into this group and my eyes just got huge. And I said, we have to do this. I think it's going to cost us $1,000, but we have to do this. I'm going to do it today. And it ended up costing us about $135. <laughs> and so our lives were so dramatically changed because we had had vacations. We were a family that traveled because we've had two generations of kids. We've had the generation that grew up, went off to college. And then my wife said, is this it? We're in our mid-40s. Are we just... It's just golf time? You're going to play bridge at the country club? Is this what we're going to do for like decades? So over a period of 18 months, we researched and slowly came to the idea of let's do something more than lower the golf score or get a better bridge score. And so we adopted a set of twins. We had them from birth and we adopted our little guy and today they're five and eight, and they're the happiest people to be alive. Some mornings, they are so far happier than myself that it's an inspiration. So anyways, we're in this group, and because of Night Scout, because we were able to get this technology that allowed us to move beyond 20 feet from our child, we were able to no longer have to have one of us trade off and sleep near his room because the transmitter would not reach to our bedroom. So we were able to go out on date nights because we could check his blood glucose. Prior to Night Scout, we had LVNs and RNs in fragile care for, for evening care and day care, but he would scare them because he was so unstable 
with his blood glucose. So even in medical professionals were having difficulties with him. So now we were able to go out and at a glance, we were able to see where his blood glucose was. If there was something going into the wrong direction, we could call, they could adjust. And it became a wonderful thing. We decided to test it out. Three of our vacations prior to Night Scout ended in Aravax. One of them ended in a seven minutes up in the mountains at Big Bear, ended up in Aravac, down to the hospital. So we went to the beach. He never went hypo, never went too high, never went too low. So we were so amazed that we had a return to normalcy. We had received back something that had been taken from us because we were dealing with this for six years prior to Night Scout. So for us, it was an extremely dramatic difference. So on our way back, we were coming on the road to home. It's a two hour drive. And I said to my wife, this has worked so great. Let's keep going. Let's keep going on the vacation. Let's go up to Washington. Let's come down, let's do a six Western states. And so she agreed. So there we went, just, we went up, we went over, we tested the rigs. Everything worked properly, and the rig would be the Dexcom connected to the Android phone uploader. So it was a wonderful thing. So it was life-changing to us, and my wife said, we have to help others. We have to tell people about this. So she said, I'm gonna continue to do the research. You need to go out and tell people about this. So one of the things that we've been doing is going to anywhere they'll have us, anywhere there's a family. When we were at South by Southwest, we'd never been there. It was the first year for the medical conference in Austin. And <clears throat> I was there with John Costick, and I said, John, what if nobody shows up? What if we only get like five people? And he said, think back on the difference it made in your family. We only need one family. We only need one mom who hasn't slept. And one of the things that touches my heart is that this is life changing. This is no cost and everybody needs to at least know they have that option. And one of the things that I do is I don't make apologies. I don't think I've ever given a presentation where it didn't touch my heart. Because we're talking about my child, his quality of life. And so why we do it is for the little ones. Now we have two kids on rigs, as I say. They're both on Dexcom. We've got our little guy here and our little girl. She's going on. She's our. She's our. Uh, I don't have the words for it. She's our uh, trailblazer. She's going to be on the G5 in a few days. Our son, we still have him on the G4, but it has changed their lives. So we're in this community, and we had. We thought maybe we could get 50 people. Maybe. 50 50 families. You think we could get 50 families to be interested in this? So all of a sudden, days go by and the group is just exploding. Carrie from Six Until Me did an article on it and we got 3,000 people like in two days. So we had to scramble. We had to put together a support network. And one of the things you'll see in the theme is the theme was always helping. You get set up, you turn around and you help someone else set up. There's people that are not techni technologi technologically inclined. And so it, it, perhaps a grandma who had a grandchild that she was now raising, someone would set it up for her. She had no way to help someone else set that up. So she would let go of a family recipe that had been a secret for 150 years. And she would give it to the whole group. So it, it was pay it forward in any way you can. 
People would go over, if someone was developing, people would go over and babysit their kids, take their kids out, create time. Because as we just stated recently, I may not be able to program, but I sure as hell can set up an environment where you can. So it's doing anything and everything to further the cause. At about the time we had 11,000 people, we started to have all kinds of solutions. We started having the, you could do Night Scout with your laptop. You could do Night Scout with a Wixel, which would replace a receiver. You could do it uh, with Share. You could do it with Medtronic. There was all kinds of ways that you could have your CGM in the cloud. Although we fall under the banner of Night Scout, the Facebook group was on purpose called CGM in the cloud. Because in anticipation, knowing that there was going to be multiple ways, because the long range plans for Dexcom and Medtronic have always been to mobile. It's just, it wasn't available for us to purchase at that given time. So we just celebrated 14,000 members and we have a support team that starts up in Australia and as time goes by, it goes across the United States and then it goes over into the UK. So at any given time, you can have your questions answered. Well, we started getting a lot of people in different foreign countries saying, you know what? This is a little too US centric. And what do you think the people in the US thought? US centric? How can this be US centric? But if you've ever lived expat somewhere, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we started setting up uh, Facebook groups that were admin by local uh, Night Scout users. And as you can see, it's taken off like a wildfire. One of, the, one of my favorite groups is Bulgaria. And the reason Bulgaria is one of my favorite groups is because they're growing astronomically fast and I can't read a thing on there. So it, it, nothing tells me Night Scouters International more than our Bulgaria group. We also have, here's the difference between government funding. This is Italy. Italy's the only country in the European Union that subsidizes CGMs for everybody. In, in different areas of Europe, you can get them for the children easier than the adults. So this group exploded. All of our international groups, country groups, started out with somebody saying, I think we can get five people. And then all of a sudden, there's 100. They just completed 900, and they're well on their way. Kate Farnsworth, who was with us in Canada, recently said there's an international support team of volunteers from Australia to the UK that work around the clock. There's always someone available to help from the support team. Night Scout is making life better now. We are not waiting. And one of the things we do, like when we go out to a conference, we push CGM in the cloud. If your solution for your family works better to have share, that's what I'm pushing. If it's the Medtronic Connect solution, that's what I'm pushing. We have, as the products have come out, the feature set has started to increase on the Dexcom and the Medtronic side. So the difference between ours is starting to come down. So someone says, well, what's gonna happen once we get all of those features up? And I says, well, if you can outpace our developers, then we're gonna go play baseball with our kids. Because we're only here because it didn't exist. So we've tried a lot of different ways to help people set up. But the support group, is so good that even though we had these appointments, this was in addition to you can just come on anytime and get help. But before people could even get to their appointment, they'd already be set up. So we're purposely trying new things, um, but the support system has worked really well. One group, many solutions, whether it's Dexcom, whether it's Medtronic. Um, one of the points that I always 
will bring up to someone who's getting a little out of bounds is our entire existence is built on the Dexcom. It's built on the Tron. If it wasn't for those pieces of hardware being in existence, we wouldn't have anything to program for. So we're very grateful for Dexcom and Medtronic and what they're doing. We, as time goes by, we have had more and more people get involved, more and more solutions. And so basically now when we're at a conference, we'll, someone will come up and say, what is this? How I, can I get this? And we'll do a little one-on-one -on -one consult. And, you know, it might be, I use Share from Dexcom, but I really want to use a Pebble Watch because I don't want to dump a whole bunch of money into these really cool Apple Watches because maybe the child is seven. Maybe the child's eight and they don't want to give the child the $600 phone. So we have a simple CGM made by the same person who co-created Night Scout. So with the Share software, that will link it to a Pebble. So that's what I would call the four minute solution. If you need extra reporting, if you need extra information, extra analytics, we can do that for you too. But if you just want to use the Pebble, here we go, that's nice and quick. You don't have to go through anything difficult. And then we also have, we just came from here, we're in the middle of a three nation, two continent, 10 day trip to at the conferences for Night Scout. And this was absolutely wildly successful because one of the things that we have is we have the XDRIP solution. Now, Canada has not benefited from the advanced features that we have in the US from Dexcom for regulatory reasons or other reasons. And so this allows them to have the same level of to be able to provide the same level of care as the folks in the United States. So that has been a huge, huge uh, thing up in Canada. And we also recently became the largest QND group in Facebook in the world. And I purposely made that mean small. That means nothing. That absolutely means nothing because the only difference it makes is the difference we make. And I just wanted to thank Joyce Lee, who uh, a year ago, in about a week, a year ago, we were at a conference in Washington, D.C. She gave a, a lecture on uh, technology, on using the social media. She says, are you on Twitter? And I said, yeah. Uh, 2009, I don't do it anymore. She says, you have to be on social media. It's no longer 1991. So that's where we started cranking up, started going forward. So anytime you see a meme from uh, the group that I've done, you can trace that right back to Joyce. But anyways, this is basically our group, and thank you for your time. <laughs>